be doing my entire K-12 education using only Jumpstart software. If I did this in the 90s when these games came out, they would have paid me millions. This would be the greatest advertising ever. Unless it turns out they suck at teaching me things and then I fail each exam that I'll be doing after I finish each grade game, then they would have sued me for millions. So we all get to feel nostalgia today, but I get the solo burden of trying to explain the complicated release history of these games. Starting with the first gen ed grade that we'll be redoing today, Jumpstart Preschool from 1995. And you know what they say, it's teach or be taught. Let's get to it. Back to school. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> I'm so glad we're in preschool together. Why'd you wear a tie to preschool on a Tuesday? Color all of color. Stop telling me to color. Color. Stop telling me to color. I'm gonna color if I want to color. This one. I'm different. Yep. Great job. That's why no one likes you. I mean, I pretty much beat preschool at this point. Now hold on just one second. Some of you guys might be very confused right now and be saying, this isn't the Jumpstart game that I remember playing. Well, fiddle me timbers. Now you're beginning to understand the complicated history of these games. Enter Jumpstart Preschool 1999 edition. The cat wants you dead in this one, if I had to guess. See, after Jumpstart started to gain a lot of popularity, they decided to go back and remake some of the games that they already made but only three years later, with new graphics, quality of life upgrades, and sometimes just being completely different games altogether. Also, the cat does wear a shirt in the game, but you'll see Jumpstart has a trend of their covers not matching the games themselves. Honestly, just installing a product on an old PC, getting past this without having a panic attack, teaches me more than this game's gonna, I can guarantee me that. We only, we only have room for 12 letters. There's so much more room. I hate it. I hate, I hate you. You're rolling to a land where learning grows. Preschool. I could have walked that distance. I live here and these are my friends. But they don't know why I live here. I've been stealing food for a week. Click the arrow to exit any game. Click on the question mark. Block if you want to make a game If I'm in preschool, I am not listening to any of this. I have already stopped. I'm on my phone playing Fortnite. If you ever want to see where- Let me play the game, Cecil! Hey, at least this game is responsive. Real flair! You look a pretty fly for real on God. I don't think he liked that I said that. Hey, who ate all the peanut butter? I wonder if it was the mute guy. Toy that begins with the eh sound. Why are you guys all watching, by the way? There's a lot of pressure this game. I'm gonna have a panic attack at preschool. I may need your help again later. Tough luck, bud. Birds. That's what I'm saying, man. Birds. Just won a train trip. Oh boy. Apples in our packs. Winter comes at last. I'm getting my reward. Visit again soon. Nah, I'm good. So we're gonna take the preschool SATs. Ask your child to point to the triangle. That one, I did point to the triangle. John wants to make his bananas ripen faster. What should he put it in so it will ripen more quickly? This is not even, this isn't preschool. This is culinary school. What the heck? All right, I got three wrong. I mean, that's a passing grade, right? So that's my time redoing preschool twice. And let's also not forget to rate them because I have a ratings board and by golly, I'd, I'd better use it for something. 1995, definitely an early point and click game because it's a little bit creepy. But if I was 13 or whatever age you are in preschool, I'd probably just be like, ha ha, funny bear. Maybe not care that much, but eh. D. In the 99, I'm pretty sure they remade it because the first one was a little bit creepy. And yet I'm still horrified. Also runs really bad. EA, fix your stuff. C. And then I graduated to kindergarten with a game that's even older than the last two. Jumpstart Kindergarten from 1994. The first Jumpstart game ever made. And for sure, like the absolute cutest one. By far, no question. And no, I will not be debating which comes first, preschool or kindergarten, because my arguments are paper thin. Look funny, video game. Type each letter of your name on the keyboard. Go. Oops. Oh, you oh, can oh, 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 Oops. Oops. You need to see these nuts. Oh, this is less creepy than the other one. For being an older game, I'm actually kind of surprised. What's Fuju? In fall, the trees drop all their leaves to the ground. I hope I drown. Let's learn about Numbers. Oh, I forgot I mean school, not video games. Uh, seven. What is that, a decayed corpse? Wow, you did it! I did. Bro, is that me? I'm the most insufferable person known to man. If you interrupt me one more time. If I was a rabbit. 
And then my teacher's a rabbit. Are you like less evolved than him? I played this at my graduation. Kindergarten, 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 kindergarten. Well, now, now, hold on just one second. Kindergarten, too. But this time, Mr. Rabbit looks like Mrs. Rabbit. This isn't kindergarten. This is evolution. Type each letter of your name on the keyboard. You were not a girl in the last game. Come on. Welcome to kindergarten. Thank you. We're glad you joined us. I'm glad you wear my clothes now. Five o'clock p.m. Dinner time with mom and dad. I have dinner at like 11. My friend tickled my mom. What? That's weird. My mom. <laughs> my mom. <laughs> hey, mom. We just died. Okay, I'm hoping I do a little better than last time. Uh, wait, these are the same questions. Tell me, kindergarten and preschool are the same thing? Well, Kindergarten 2 looks to be like a much needed refresh over the original, but I'll be the judge of that over there at the rating board instead of here. Swoop. For being a game that was made in 94, it's not as creepy as it could be, despite still being very, very creepy. It definitely doesn't have as much soul as some of the newer ones. It seems like a weird thing to critique, but when you're like a 10-year-old, the vibe is like 90% of why I would go back to play a game. Eh. E. Mm. This one's definitely better. It's easier to tell what you click on to play the game. Also, I don't know why it looks like this. Definitely better. C. To a slight degree. Slight because C makes the S sound. I will now make the sound to transition back to the green screen setup. Now things start getting serious. With Jumpstart First Grade from 1995, finally agreed with numbers instead of goofy words or baby talk. This game introduces what many know as the mascot of Jumpstart Frankie. So let's get our learning socks on. Psych! I already played this one like two weeks ago, so we get to skip first grade. Psych! Jumpstart First Grade 1999 version and or 2000 version, depending. A completely different game from the first one besides the sweet, sweet scent of teach. What, 256 color mode? I'm, I'm in first grade, I still don't know what this means. Get to know it by heart. You'll have the pleasure of looking for treasure from food to work so Fart. Hard. Oops, we've uh, only got room for 12 letters. Why? Yahooey, we're going on a treasure hunt. Yahooey. Those will help you increase your rank. I'm in first grade. I didn't realize I was going to the military. And the most important thing is for you and Frankie to have fun. Okie dokie. I mean, I might if I can actually play the game. One clue, two more to go. Let's keep going, partner. All right, Sonic. I mean, Frankie. No left-handed salutes in my lunchroom, soldier! At ease, Frankie! So was he in, like, the Cold War or, like, World War II or something? Mid! You're mid, idiot. Thank you for your service, though. Select an answer for the yellow team. No. It's fun to watch the pogo stick drill teams. Now what should we do? Go swimming, out go in the lake, leave. Go on a, go fight, go f like find a sword and kill something. What happens if I quit? That is about what I expected, yeah. I have to, I have to print a test? That's like third grade level. I, I don't know how to, I don't even know what a printer is yet. I'm like two months old. I'll just take a test after sixth grade. Yeah, I've been graduated for a long time. And I'm still finding ways to get out of doing school. First grade 99 slash 2000 was a pretty big leap for the Jumpstart series, I see what I did there. Considering it was more of like an adventure progression game, instead of the original, which is just click, earn points, learn. Also had funny Sonic Dog. I'll put it here. A. And for good measure, we'll rate the original 1995 version as well. D. I think I was mad the whole time I played it. It does have a better voice actor though. Nobody cares. Now, hey, if you enjoyed first grade, you'll be just as excited as I was to learn that there's actually a sequel. It's called Second Grade. And there's a Jumpstart game about it. Actually, this is the one game on this list that I did play as a kid, so you're kind of the only one learning about Jumpstart Second Grade for the first time. Yeah, stupid! <laughs> I had knowledge you didn't, dummy! It released in 1996, but was then re-released in 2000. One, but instead of being like a different game, like a remake, like the other games, it's just the same game released on a deluxe two disc set. Disc two being Jumpstart Around the World, which has the same frog character, but he ends up looking more like the Leapfrog Frog. Note that Jumpstart Around the World is not a part of the Jumpstart World series. Also note that the Jumpstart World series has nothing to do with baseball. You can see why things start to get confusing with these games. And that's just the beginning. Wait till we get to third grade. So here's a 27 year old man playing Jumpstart second grade. Back to my old stomping grounds. See my classmates in forever. If you don't see your name on the list, ah! this is a great place to type anything you want. Anyway, uh, yeah, we'll print that. 
I don't think you can print out your work. Well, frick you, I can do whatever I want, idiot. I have skills, I have technology that you didn't even know ever existed. Okay, I just realized my cam wasn't going. Look at that, I get an idea. Anyway, we gotta go to the bone vault, I guess. The bone vault. Who knows what we might find? If I had to guess, I'd say bones. I would have made that joke. This game defined my sense of humor. La Cucaracha, one dollar. <laughs> it's a funny word. Rule number three of the adventurer, always recycle. It's good for the environment. I'm a bad person. Music here is, is awesome. I would play this just for the music even though I sucked at it. Aluminum. Uh, 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 uh. Music's restarting. Paper. See if you can get yeah, the objects I'm trying. In the you keep lagging me out because you don't know how to talk. I like this one to this day. Still feels like it's got hey. tons of content. Also way less creepy than the others, despite this dude's crash bandicoot physique. Man, whew, second grade education sure is difficult. But hey, I'm sure third grade won't have an even more convoluted and confusing release history and adds even more anxiety to my mental workflow through school and education. Gulp. Third Grade was released in 1996, subtitled Mystery Mountain. It was then re-released in 1997, and I think the only thing they changed were like some credits. It was then released again in 2000 in a two-disc set, the main game itself completely unchanged, but it did get a different title, Jumpstart Third Grade Adventures. Disc 2 of the set was just a copy of Jumpstart Adventure Challenge, which also re-released later on, but that's a whole nother rabbit hole to get down. Third Grade was then released again in 2003, but they called it Jumpstart Advanced Third Grade Fundamentals. Jumpstart Advanced being a completely different Jumpstart series, but again, the game itself was completely unchanged, and no, the advanced series of Jumpstart games are not for the Game Boy Advanced. You'll also note that each release of Third Grade has a different cover art, and pretty much none of them reflect what the actual game looks like. All of this information will be on the test. Okay, bye, enjoy funny game. Join clubs, get free mail, earn points for cool- Ah. To this school, please use the keyboard to oh. um, transquizzer. Uh, now be careful with that thing. Don't drop it. The future of the world may depend on that little machine in your hands. Polly's father, and he programmed me to keep an eye on Polly. But today, it was impossible. She created nukes, launched them at multiple world powers. This is the first fully orchestrated video game. Polly should be inside. Well, should we like give her a spanking or something like that? I don't know where the music hall is. Ugh. Uh, uh. This is when I am victorious. I win. Could be heat, it could be hate. And I'm a very angry guy. But it's not the right word. I should have known. Jumpstart would never promote evil and anger. A macaroni is a type of feather people used to wear in their hats. I don't think so, bud. I think it's a pasta. Um, not. I don't, I don't want to listen. I don't care. Clean art style. Kind of looks more like the Pajama Sam games of the time. Gameplay is more like logic puzzles instead of just quantum physics, which far more enjoyable, a little slightly more video gamey, but confusing history, so F tier. Nah, nah, this one's good. Yes. Yes. I started a Patreon exclusively to afford healthcare after my terminal illness of brain rot that I contracted from researching Jumpstart games. It's extremely helpful for making these bigger videos, so please and thank you. Thankfully, the coughing fits haven't kicked in quite yet, but if Jumpstart gets any more confusing than third grade, I'm screwed. <laughs> <coughs> ah, it gets worse. Run, or you'll contract my asthma through the video screen. Jumpstart, or them starve. <coughs> Fourth grade, Haunted Island from 1996. Its history is simply spooky, as they say. It'll drive you batty. It left me coughing. <laughs> scared silly. More like scared normally. But I gotta show you the gameplay first, so I'll keep laughing at the scared silly joke until you get back and, and we'll be good. Yo, what's up guys? It's me, the fifth grader. A uh, lot old and cool and stuff. Man, I've been working my nine to five for five to nine, if you know what I'm saying. I grow up so fast. This is scary. If I were a kid, I would have quit by now. But I'm a fourth grader, I'm big and tough. I ain't afraid of an, an old haunted island. I don't even, I don't even believe in islands. Hey! Look for clues in the mutant garden. You must have three successful harvests. Huh? Wait, what? That's many years of work, lady. I don't, I'm not a farmer, I'm a fourth grader. Where am I going? Where's the garden? Where am I going? Huh? I didn't realize I was playing The Legend of Zelda Get Lost Kingdom. Where's the reading? Where's the spelling? Where's the arithmetic? Where's my phonics? 
I can't find the garden without getting scared. I'm done. Scared silly. More like scared normally. Yeah, you know I'm here. This game was re-released. Except it actually wasn't. See, Jumpstart Preschool and Kindergarten were eventually re-released because the originals visually and functionally were somewhat dated. Jumpstart First Grade was completely revamped into a different game altogether, but it kept the same characters, the same learning themes. Jumpstart Fourth Grade was not remastered, remade, or revamped. It was altogether replaced by a different game in 1999. Jumpstart Fourth Grade, Sapphire Falls. A game about two kids that solve a mystery about a cave or something. No ghosts, no ghouls, no mazes. They just decided the original sucked and replaced it, entirely sweeping it under the rug as if it never happened. Not that I blame them. Also, this version had a deluxe re-release at some point, uh, some year, I have no idea. It probably had disc two was Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom or something. A lot more character already. Boo. Oh, let's remake the game. What should we upgrade? Nothing. Nothing about it. Thomas James Adams here, and this is Sally Chu. We what don't speak that? with our mouths moving. We don't believe in that. Our dog is one inch tall. I just saw the mayor go into the first room, so... The mayor? Joe Biden. Oh, this is an RPG type game? Oh. I'm running for president of the U.S. of A. And as soon as I get some uh, campaign financing... He's a villain. I figured it out. He's a villain. He's a bad guy. Could I take your picture? Oh, well, uh, of course. Uh... Oh, Every and time then, then we all picture, exploded and died. Put... Stop. Yeah, buddy. Doing math. Let's go. You did great. Here we go. Oh, we're gonna hit the Fortnite dance. More of this. Blah, 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 blah. Crime number. That's that new Fortnite drink the pause is up to. Please. Get it down. Ah. Okay, thank you. Do I want to play the spooky, spooky scary game over this? No. Careful with that static ball. Whoa. Oh, One out of 56, I think, if I'm counting correctly. As a fourth grader, I would be old enough to have the independence to decide that I am done. The original Jumpstart Fourth Grade is a confusing sudden turn from learning game to learning game that is a first person dungeon crawler. And I kind of dislike it in every way and I would have peed my pants several times as a kid. Not a fan of this one. D. I definitely rather play Sapphire Falls, but this one still had too much talking and humans are boring, so. C. Controls were also blue. Jumpstart fifth grade, Joe Hammett, Kid Detective from 1997. Let's just get the history out of the way. I'm in front of the green screen already. This game, just like third grade, never had anything about it substantially change, even though it got released three times. They re-released in 1998. They changed the cover to something that doesn't even reflect the game whatsoever. They added like a help button to the sign-in menu. Very, very epic. Came out again in 2003 and was renamed Jumpstart 5th Grade and 6th Grade. It was exactly the same, it just came with Jumpstart 6th Grade. At this point, I'm about to jumpstart drinking the pain away. Jumpstart the gameplay. 5th Grade. By the time I hit 5th Grade, I'd outgrown hats. Hats were not really my thing by then. It's nice when I wake up in the middle of the night and I want to play video games even though I'm supposed to be sleeping and you just hear... <sighs> with no one to stop me, revenge is mine! What? That must be a villain. If it wasn't for this field trip to the museum, I'd have never have gotten involved in the biggest case of my life. Or voice acting every character known to man. This was the origin of the voice actor themselves. That's them. Ah, another RPG. Once Windows discovered text, everything changed. Jumpstart, the clue finders, Pajama Sam, everything text, text-based. I'm just stuck in dialogue with a janitor. Lady and guy with broom, I am BF Skinny. Same voice actor as the girl, by the way. They're pretty famous people. What the heck? This Swiss artist was an illustrator at the Baja's Art Institute. I would just Google all this stuff. What British Rococo artist was popular for his satirical sketches of British culture? According to Britannica, William Hogarth. In the game, I did all this crazy stuff, figured out all the answers. It's been about seven, eight hours or so. Oh, let's go. Dude, I would have killed for the sleepwalkers. Pretty cool. I gotta say, a video game section in a video game tends to get me excited to play video games. I have been known to do math on occasion. Well, that being said, there's quite a bit of them, and they keep going, and it's slightly annoying, because I've proven I can do math. I feel like at this point, I've proven that the math can be done, so like, why are they continuing to teach me math if I've already learned it? Jumpstart is good at learning stuff. 
they're not that good at action games and controls, as you can see in 4th 1 and 4th 2. It's really pretty decent, to be honest. B. Jumpstart Adventure 6th Grade Mission Earth Quest. Whoa, crazy learn game for funny kids. Yay! 6th grade, fellas. Y'all can catch me out doing my taxes. And not only do I know what this means, I can count to 256 now. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? The egg did. Reptiles were laying eggs for thousands of years before... We've come a long way since Frankie. There is only room for 12 characters. Please type a shorter name. Why don't you explain why that is if you're so friggin' smart and stuff? Why does this look like the nut shack? <laughs> don't hit the sus button. The map. I don't know, Uncle Eli. It just started going haywire. I just saw a monkey. Cut the clowning, Jess. This is serious. <laughs> I'm telling you. I mean, I did too. Art is the name of an artificial intelligence I helped to develop. I call it ChatGPT, despite the fact that it's called Art. We've got to save among us from sus. Anything going wrong in the world is picked up by sensors. This guy gets so annoyed whenever I have like tummy problems and it just starts blinking and it's like every other day. Oh, well, uh, where are we nuking? All right, animals that eat plants are crunch, probably. This is really controlling not well. Fire cannot occur without, I mean, mischief for sure, right? Oh, okay. So we're playing connect ladybugs. Why am I not ladybugging right about now? It's okay. At least he knows I'm onto him. Huh? My cell pod is seriously depleted. Yeah, well, you're seriously not hitting the answer. Hit the answer. Go to the answer. My cell pod is seriously depleted. I don't care. Why is the anatomy of a tiger up there? That was a cinch. That was a cinch. Now give me that pinch. Squeak. What am I saying? This game is driving me insane. I put it here. D. I miss Frankie. Jumpstart 7th grade. It's like, actually doesn't exist. They stopped at 6. But here's what you get if you Google Jumpstart 7th grade. Well, since there's no Jumpstart products that cover anything K-12 through past the 6th grade, it would seem they were just too busy making covers for the games that already existed like 17 different times. So I may go into life lacking some good chunk of general education knowledge. But I'll tell you, if there's a single question on that exam about the history of Jumpstart, I will ace, no, I will probably still get it wrong. It's too confusing. The artists have blank paintings on display at the art gallery. See, I have to know this one because YouTube comments will roast me if I don't. Erpas are savory pastries made from corn flour. If the question was, how do you pronounce erpas, I would have gotten it wrong. Read the passage. Oh, goodness. They're in France. Is that, is that like yeah, it does, for sure. Yeah. Uh, that's it. That's all the practice questions before I have to pay for it. I just had to legally buy every Jumpstart game. I'm not buying a sixth grade math test, but I got all of them wrong, essentially. I mean, right. I mean, right. I meant right. Good thing one of the questions wasn't, did you get it right or wrong? And that's how I got my degree. They probably were this quality in the 90s. I went on to become a YouTuber, therefore negating all of the negative effects of lacking a proper education and stopping at the sixth grade, because all I really need to know to do that is to make a funny face into a camera. Amen.